What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the online jam league? Jamerifan2000 here. We got another episode of Jamerifan Talks about. For the initiated in this series, you're on my Jamerifan2000 YouTube channel. This has been my periodic discussion series of nearly eight to nine years where I take a look at the past, present, and future of Jamiroquai and their now over 31 years of musical and influential making. Now, this episode is going to be a little bit somber because I'm going to be doing a bit of a tribute to an amazing magnet of American and worldwide popular music. In today's episode, I decided to do a tribute to one of the biggest artists and producers whom cornerstone American popular music from jazz to pop for over the last 70 years of his work and production from the late 20th century into the early 21st century and set the earmark for brilliance in music production and creation. Of course, I'm talking about the great musical icon, American record producer, songwriter, composer, arranger, and film and television producer Quincy Jones, who started out his music career in the vibrantly emerging, the vibrantly emerging genre of jazz in the early 1950s. Separating himself from um, separating himself as one of the preeminent jazz conductors and arrangers for his collaborative time with the fellow legendary musicians like Count Basie and Frank Sinatra, we he would pivot his career into music producing and production a little bit thereafter uh, with helping the fledgling Michael Jackson from previous uh, musical fame of Jackson 5 into the into the king of pop cohesively with helping write and produce his albums Off the Wall, Thriller, and Bad. On the charity side in 1985, Jones produced and conducted the charity single We Are the World, which raised funds for victims of famine that was happening in the country of Ethiopia. Uh, Jones composed new, numerous film scores, including including The Pawnbroker, In the Heat of the Night, In Cold Blood, The Italian Job, The Wiz, and The Color Purple. He won a Primetime Enemy Award for Outstanding, Outstanding Music Composition for a series for the miniseries Roots in 1977. He received a Tony for Award for the Best Revival of a Musical as a producer of the revival of The Color Purple in the year of 2016. To list more of his accolades as an artist and a humanitarian would take many, many hours, but everyone in the music industry, uh, as of recently, this first week of November of 2024, upon hearing about the passing of Quincy Jones, who died at the tender age of 91, uh, have been chiming in uh, with their own tributes on the life of Q, which, of course, is a nickname that his friends lovingly gave him in the music industry um, on their social medias, and including all the band members of Jamiroquai, respectively, on their Instagram and other social media outlets. Uh, even JK, as of the day after his passing, um, chimed in with his own official tribute with posting his own message and a lovely picture of uh, Quincy Jones with the following message, which as re reads as follows. What a great man. Had the pleasure of meeting him at the BET studios. I still remember how charming and supportive he was. He has left us in an incredible legacy. I look forward to playing his music for my children and in turn, um, and them in turn playing him to theirs and so on. Thanks, Mr. Quincy Jones, for everything. Uh, Jay. P.S. I'm playing this now. Bet you wouldn't hurt me. Um, Q's contribution to popular music in the U.S. and the world will never be replicated, but certainly will be celebrated and help inspiring future generations of music makers to come in the coming years, decades, and of course centuries. In closing, I la be sure to check out the description area of this episode of Jamiro Payne Talks About for my picks on my favorite Quincy, Joan out Quincy Jones out Adams, including albums from his own um, musical uh, discography and the ones he produced in others' discography that helped mold him into one of the most important artists in all of world music history. And um, I like to say, I like, I think I speak um, as a member of the Jamline, I think I speak on behalf of the band Jamiroquai, who in their own time have been sending their condolences. And I think I speak on behalf of the online Jamline when I spend my condolences and uh, all my heartfelt memories over or heartfelt uh, wishes over to the family and friends of Quincy Jones. He will never be forgotten, and his musical influence will go on for eons. But as always, this is Jamiric Fan 2000. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Jamiric Fan Talks About. If you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe and dig the bell on your YouTube to stay up to date on all the latest new videos coming from the Jamiric Fan 2000 YouTube channel. Um, and be sure to, most importantly, if you're not familiar with the legacy of Quincy Jones, check out those albums as I preface down in the description area of this episode of Jamiric Fan Talks About, and enlighten yourself on the amazing music that Quincy Jones was able to hone, create, and help others in attaining in the amazing 70-year career that he had. But as always, this is Jameer Fan 2000. Thank you again, everybody, for the support, and I'll see you again really soon with more content here on the Jameer Fan 2000 YouTube channel. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you around.